we have a small project today. Again, another thing I have been putting off. Production has been priority, and now the deliveries are catching up. But I'm getting into a log jam down on the lower end of the wood yard, and it requires my tractor. But maybe let's go survey the situation before we uh, get the tractor out and start making some noise. Come this way. I have been busy making firewood. The 405 has not been turning off. And while I've been picking through the big pile of logs to make in the firewood, you know, I run across the big ones that won't fit or they're too big, too crooked, too something. I bring them down here so that we can go old school on them, chainsaw, get them into the axis, getting them split. Well, I've got myself into a little bind right here. Let me show you. I have my axis here in my 10 cord sections. I'm starting my new one. Well, we're getting tight right here. And it is my intention to move the axis back into this area. This is like a nice working area, a nice pad there. It's uh, pavement, and I just think it's a good place to chainsaw and roll logs, get them onto the axis, and stack. So this whole aisle I need to get opened. So we're, after we get the axis moved, I'm going to move all of these logs and get them set over here for chainsaw day. I have moved the axis two times before, so now this is going to be my fourth time. And it's just a simple, I got to put the hitch on it. I got to start it up and get the uh, lift up in the air. I don't have to mess with the conveyor. We're not moving it that far. But I'm just going to back it into this area. My vision, guys, is to have all of the... I think this is going to, I just call this like pizza oven wood. The pizza ovens don't really care what the wood looks like. I mean, they don't want it to be nasty or anything, but it's not like that, you know, that come, that, that wood that comes off the perfect split. Um, whenever you chainsaw, it's hard to get everything exact same length. Although the axis, you know, you can split it any size you want. My thought is all of the logs that I have to chainsaw are going to become pizza oven wood, and they're just going to get stacked in here. The reason I'm going with this area is because I need a way to get my trailer backed into here. Uh, two of my pizza ovens I deliver with the trailer. And um, it gets a little tight. And I know um, this is kind of a, a difficult angle right here. So I'm just going to leave. I could extend these out like another section of pallets, but I'm not. And I'm just going to leave this open so that the trucks can get in here or I can get in here with my trailer and just get backed into this area and get my trailer loaded up. This is going to be where my big logs will be placed. And this is going to be my chainsaw area. Yeah, I got to get this cleaned up. We'll put the bucket on the tractor and get this stuff moved around. And these pallets can be gone. This wood is gone. I just got a couple stragglers, but um, we'll get all these moved out. But for right now, I want to get this axis moved so that I can get this row continued out. And uh, this stuff's in my way. So let's get the tractor out of the shipping container. We'll get the hitch put on the axis and we're going to get this moved. Here we go. I think though, let me get the axis started up uh, because I got to get the lift up in the air. Uh, that'll help me pull it. I think I can get by without having to lift the landing gear. That'll just save us some time. enough if I was in full transport mode you know this uh, disconnects from the ram and you flip it up but don't need to worry about that 
So let's get the hitch, let's get my tractor, and let's get this moved. I am going to take the grapple off the front of this tractor. I'm going to put the bucket on, just clean that area out a little bit. And I had learned over the year that you do not take the grapple off without cycling the buttons with the engine off. Um, that gets all the pressure out of the lines. I haven't been able to get those on before. I about broke both shoulders pushing on them. So we'll just get this ready to come off and we will put the bucket on. All right. I just leave this thing out. No need to make it easy on anyone who wants to borrow it. This way. So this is what, I don't know, 30, 40 cords of firewood made with a perfect split. This is how much waste it makes. That's a lot. You know, everything has a trade-off. You get those beautiful pieces of firewood, but it does waste a lot. Uh, in fairness though, a lot of this is bark and those dry maples, all the bark comes off of it. And that bark really takes up a lot of space too. So this is sawdust slash bark and it you know just a lot of scraps so yes there is opportunity with this pile right now and it is on my radar screen but you know sole proprietor there's only so much i can do and right now i just can't worry about this i got low-hanging fruit i have to go after before we deal with this mulch yard so there was multiple bins that just encircled this whole area you can tell the different colors you know there was red there brown there there's black here and that's what uh, you just got some of that uh, residual in the corner I'm just scooping it all out just getting it out of here it's a nice cool evening occupational hazard but I do have my lucky penny still this area was where all the chainsaw cutting was done from the open house I'm gonna scrape this out too that'll make my pallets lay better
I ever do open up to the public, I want to put my best foot forward. Put in the hitch and the pin and let's get this hitched up now this is always tough because I can't see I'm flying blind I just gotta like figure it out and hope for the best I have to raise these anyways. I remember I had to really crank these up in the air because this is kind of on a slope. So let's pick these up. We're going to have to balance this machine out anyways. They don't have to go up a lot. just thought you know that this block back here could be a workbench to keep my water on keep my phone back here I think this is good so I'm gonna leave it right here and let's see you know if I don't like it we'll just move it again uh, but then I'm gonna put the grapple on the tractor and let's get all these logs moved into here into the process guys I had thought of having the logs this way to the machine but what I learned is when you buck them you know all the rounds are in the way I think this is going to be the staging area and I don't see me chainsawing these logs without using the tractor picking them up off the ground so I feel I can just put a log on the grapple back up even with the axis buck the log there and all the rounds are out of this way We'll give it a shot, 
but this first round, that's how I'm going to plan on doing this. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, it's getting dark out here. I need to get this over with. So these rounds, obviously, those will go over to the axis, but this whole area now is opened up. I got me another uh, row of pallets will be here. I'll have enough room to get into this area. I like it. And this is the morning shade in the morning, so I've got myself set up for shade to do the heavy work. Hey, just in time for the winter and stay tuned we'll see how it goes guys all right uh the axis is in its new location what do you think maybe a roof i can put over top of this or something keep me and it out of the elements i like it a lot so what do we call this over here then guys the big wood station the bucking station the axis station i like it all right guys let me know what you think i hope everyone has a great day